Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to be putting the wings back on the Project Tiger. It didn't go quite that quickly. One hour and five minutes from the start of the brief to the time we had the wings all bolted back on. But stay tuned while we explain what we did while we were having some fun. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Now, as we do with anything that when we're going to be moving an airplane or even control surfaces of an airplane, we usually get everybody together and we have a little briefing so that everybody knows what we're going to be doing, where they're going to be, what the commands are going to be, and what to do when they get a command so we don't do any damage and we get the components moved where we want them. So stay tuned. So we're going to begin the assembly process and putting the wings back on. As you can see right there, we've already taken molly coat and we've coated the outside of the spar. Now what you're seeing is that we're coating the inside of the spar with molly coat and wiping a nice even bead so we'll have a good lubrication when we slide the uh, wing onto the center spar. Now to get started on the project, the first thing we did was we assembled some donuts. And, you know, we had some donuts by the door that make sure that people are going to show up. Uh, then we did a brief of what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, the commands we're going to use, and what everybody's expected to do, where they're going to be holding, and put their gloves on so we, nobody gets any chances of uh, getting a cut in the lightning holes. And then once everything's been briefed, then we're going to put one wing on, then we're going to put the other wing on, then the fuel lines, the electrical connection, will be done. Now before the control surfaces go on, we will be adding fuel to the airplane to check for leaks. And then once the control surfaces are put on, then the wingtips go on and then we will add the fairings and the fairings are being redone right now. So stay tuned while we show you some more fun that we had putting the wings back on the airplane. Alright, so you guys a half step towards the door. Okay, in and up just a little bit. Okay, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Maybe up just a tiny bit more. All right, too much. You're gonna find the spot where it's just where it wants to All go. Right, that's it, right there. Left. Yep, that's the happy spot. Okay, keep coming in. All right, now we're into the uh, baby wiggle. Bring her home. And it's really all about just taking your time. Right, you guys wiggle up and down real slow and I'll push you out. Dave, tell me when. Right. You guys got to go up and down. Okay, you got about four and a half inches to go. Talk to me, boss. About three. About two and a half. Yeah. You're down to about an inch. You want to get in there about, oh, about all right. right. Hold on, now I'll get in there with the pick and we'll line them up. Yep. Because you're at the point now where you're for the drift. Watch your head, Roscoe. I know, there's a prop right behind me. Alright, I'm going to go vertical on this. Okay, we're just getting. Well, that was 21 minutes. Can we even take the wings off? And do it one more time? Or you can just let it stay for 21 minutes. What happened to the sit quietly in the corner? Oh, that's right. It sort of looks like an airplane. Sure does. Well, the pile of parts is getting smaller. And as you can see here, Matt's just checking the final work on putting the spar shoulder bolts in to hold the co-pilot wing on the aircraft. And now we'll move on and show you doing the other side of the airplane. Now there's the molly coat. It's really just a molybrium coating that we're putting on the outside of the spar. Now the inside of the spars have already been cleaned and the whole spar before the molly coat went on that section you're seeing right there had core band. So it's a corrosion band 35 treatment um, on the uh, spar and then we got the molly coat so that when we go to put the wing section back on it slides on nice and easily. And that also gives it a little bit of protection. At the same time, we were also checking it to see if we needed any shims. 
Luckily, this is a low time airplane and no shims were needed to hold the airplane on. And there's nothing special about the Molly Coat, any molybdenum spray. We're also using the uh, AVL. It's uh, like an LPS-3 uh, to give us a little bit of lubricant. But nothing complicated about these things. Um, I've seen people use grease, motor oil. And by the way, at the same time that we're doing the wings all on the airplane, we're also taking our time to change out all the shoulder bolts, both at the main spar and on the uh, outboard section. And we're also changing all the fuel drains. We also did the cow latch pins, the hardware, the springs and the grommets so everything in the cowling now that it's been painted is all brand new so stay tuned so here you see the briefing going on and now the wing is going to go on the airplane this is the pilot side wing and because you have a briefing you see how quickly and smoothly everything goes well in actuality it's just a time lapse to spring it up for you but I thought you'd be amused by that and we're going to do the other side right here really quickly and as you can see with time lapse and because everything's been briefed it did not take long the total time from the time that people arrived and we had our briefing to the time that everything was bolted electrically connected no control surfaces back on but had the wings back on the airplane was one hour and five minutes a total of 65 minutes of people time and we had so much fun doing the left side, we thought we'd show you the uh, right side being moved. Not complicated at all. We had several cameras running today trying to catch it from all different angles. As we're trying to figure out from user comments and uh, YouTube comments, what's the best way to present the information and let everybody see what's going on. So your comments are always welcome. So enjoy the fun here. And here's a little bit of video for you so you can see just how much fun it is to be down in the uh, wing root area trying to hook up the fuel lines. It is tight, but you can get your hands up there. You do have room, room for a work light. You probably will be laying on a creeper or on the floor, but it can be done. Just take your time and do a good job. And then we'll hook up all the electrical connections. And this girl is getting very close to being back together. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The wings are back on the Project Tiger. Now we'll fill it with fuel and check for fuel leaks, control surfaces, and wing tips, but this girl is getting very close to being ready to fly. We hope you found all this useful and informative. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day flying your Grumman.